everybody, Beth here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you're new here, I'm a reseller of vintage things on Poshmark, Etsy, and eBay. So I go to garage sales and thrift stores, find things that um, are collectible pretty much, and yeah, sell them on those platforms. So um, all of my stores are under the name Fine Aged Finds, and I am really excited because you've probably heard if you're a Poshmark shopper or seller that they just opened a new market, the home market, and there are some rules, but um, it's been really cool because I can cross list some of my stuff there. So, and I started out in Poshmark and I really have missed the platform since kind of gearing my business more toward hard goods. So, um, I can't sell ceramic stuff on there or glass or anything, but some things I'm able to, like candlesticks, I'm able to list um, really cool vintage book, like coffee table books and stuff. So you might see some things that I've listed on there. Um, I also have some vintage, <laughs> mosquitoes are so bad this year, some vintage clothing that I and shoes that I've posted on there. So I don't have a ton of listings, but um, I'm back to be, I'm glad to be back on there. So I have a haul here for you. Um, of hard goods except they have one purse. These are things that I found at yard sales um, and I went to a consignment thrift shop that was liquidating their inventory to start over for some reason and I was really excited. I drove an hour and a half to get there. I was also picking up a cat so it kind of made, <laughs> made sense uh, but it wasn't as great as I thought. I, I did get a couple of things but I thought I was going to get a lot of stuff to sell there so I'll kind of point those out to you. Um, so let's get started. All of this stuff is listed in my stores. So if you see anything that you really like, um, go check it out. Uh, a couple of things aren't. I'll, I'll point them out that aren't though. So um, first I will show you these. I've seen these on um, some resellers videos. So I'm thinking of the Poetry of Nice. Um, I think that she had these exact ones. Uh, they may have been May, may not have been brass. I'm not sure, but definitely check out her channel because she resells a lot of cool stuff too. Um, yeah, so these are in great shape. They're about eight inches tall and they go for really good money. I've seen the highest price I think that I've seen that um, they go for is about 60. Um, I listed them for around that price. I usually list things for the highest price that I can find um, historically unless it's really crazy and then I just go from there so I just listed these last or this morning and they're listed at $60 um, okay next these are really neat um, so they're this um, basket weave my I just got a ring light and it's a little bit a little bit bright um, they are basket weave dragonfly um, creamer and open sugar bowl and they are made in Ireland by this company called Belique. So um, these go for quite a bit of money too. I, I use Worth Point and it's over, I've seen things as far back as early 2000s. So it's it's fluctuated for how much they've gone for but lately um, some have gone for as much as 40 or 50 dollars. So I'm listing these around that in that range, um, and they're they're really cool. They're like bone, bone porcelain. They're very lightweight, and they're somewhat rare to, as far as trying to find them online. Okay, so let's just move from right to left. This I did get at that consignment store I told you about, and it's this gorgeous beaded purse, and it's really pretty magenta purpley color. Um, the design is like shells kind of that's what it reminds me of um, and it's made in India and these are glass beads so it reminds me of like a flapper purse I really I mean I've done a lot of research like how to know what time period beaded purses are from um, I can't be sure that it's it's anything as far back as that but it's beautiful it's really heavy um, the inside is awesome so I think it'll do really well and I can list this on Poshmark too. So I have my telephone cord purse on all three sites and it's doing really well. So I know like vintage purses like this, people seem to be looking out for. Um, I just got this last weekend. I went to a little garage sale 
and things were really overpriced but um i was drawn to this guy and i think i paid five dollars for him which is more than i like to spend but you know i think that it kind of diversifies my my closet shops slash shops so it's i'm gonna go with turkey i looked up pheasants partridges chickens <laughs> i just want to make sure it's the right bird because it looks kind of this looks kind of small to be a turkey but that's what i'm going with um, I asked my three-year-old, what is this? <laughs> I would, thought he would say chicken, either chicken or turkey, and he said turkey, so I'm going with it. Anyway, it's ceramic, and it's got this really pretty metallic paint on it, and it's just gorgeous. It would be a great thing for, um, for Thanksgiving, a Thanksgiving centerpiece, or anywhere that you decorate. So uh, not many comps on this, but I'm probably going to list it for 20 to $25. And it may take a while to sell until the fall, but that's okay. Okay, next, I got this for $3, and it's a, man, this is a little tough, um, a Fenton pedestal candy dish with a lid. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, it's really pretty, uh, and it's got this, it's got like this raised, grape pattern. Oh, I'm sorry. You can kind of see them. But also this ribbon, painted ribbon rose pattern makes it really pretty. Um, this is already listed. I can't remember what I listed it for, but if you like it, go check it out. Okay. These are really pretty. I got these at that consignment store. Um, I'm sorry. She'll stop barking soon, hopefully. It might be the UPS guy. Um, these cool birds. So I'm assuming because they're a pair and they've got kind of a I mean it's not completely flat but um, the only thing I can think of is that these must be bookends so um, I put some books in between them for my cover shot and it looked really cool with some old books um, they're this really nice brown glaze that's kind of different shades throughout again what kind of bird would this be I would think duck or goose probably not swan but I really can't find this this exact thing online um, no maker as far as I can tell. So, but those are really cool. And again, they look great with books. I have listed those. Um, I can't remember what I got some of the consignment stuff for because it was all, uh, just kind of together. And I asked how much she wanted. I got a lot of things. One thing was a brass horse that, um, it's a brass carousel horse that I put on my Instagram. And it was originally listed for $50. Again, it's a consignment store. And a lot of things with vintage, a lot of times with vintage things in consignment stores, they're sentimental. So people that set prices, they, they want sometimes more than, um, I wouldn't say they're worth, but they a lot of people are pretty set in how much they want things to go for. Uh, this had been here for there for a long time, and because she was liquidating, she let me go uh, get it for $25. I don't have it in the hall, but um, another thing I put on my Instagram, and um, I bought him for $25, and he goes between $75 and $85, so um, I have a little more polishing to do on him. Oh, this mosquito. Um, okay, next, I listed this a while, these a while ago. They're these ceramic... Um, salt and pepper shakers and they're really big I can't remember four inches tall um, they've got the stoppers which I've made that mistake before of getting salt and pepper shakers and not only it's not that they didn't have the stoppers the stoppers were inside <laughs> so I just kept them as figurines but anyway they're big they're not identical um, they're just really cute so I kind of missed the Easter boat this year for these but they're they're just cute for anybody that likes rabbits and they're great for a farm theme um yeah super cute okay this i got for a dollar i think at a thrift store um these are some vintage spice jars and i'll show you most of them have this lid oh, yeah most of them have this lid and they're they all have them none of them are missing um, but a couple of them have this lid. So um, this has gotten a lot of interest. 
and I just think it's really cool. I, I tried to, I mean, there's some aging, like some cloudiness and stuff, but I think they're really cool and they're made in Taiwan. So, um, they can hold a lot of spices and yeah, I just love those. Okay. Um, next these were in that same consignment store. Now I paid, I got a lot of things at that consignment store and I paid a hundred dollars for all of them. Keep in mind that the brass horse was $25 alone. And these seven things were, um, she wanted them for, she wanted $20 for them. So I took a chance. So these, boy, these have been a mystery. I've spent so much time looking these up. It says the Lumupo Netsuki's 1979 Creative World. And um, I feel like I've seen these before. Not even when I've been reselling. Let me put my camera. There we go. And they're still in their little boxes. They're all scratched up, you know, because they're, they're older. But they're these little figurines. So this is the pony. Um, I've got an owl, rabbit, mouse, baboon, orangutan, um, and from what I can tell, they're beads. These don't come off. Uh, I don't want to try too hard to get them off. Yeah, there's some like glue and stuff I need to clean up right there. Um, so they're just for display as far as I know, but they've been so hard to find any information on. The only one I've found really is the, the pony. And he's listed for like $73 on eBay. So I have no idea if that's reasonable or not. Um, I think I'm going to try to do as much research as I can before I list those. So those guys aren't on there. Um, okay. I also found this, this horn mug, which, um, it says Duratail by Leonard and a teeny tiny thing that says Italy. Let me see if I can, which way does that go? I mean, if you don't see it, just trust me. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. My husband's into kind of like medieval Viking stuff. And um, that's just what it reminds me of. He has a mug like this that's made out of um, an actual horn. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so this would definitely be a good Father's Day gift. I'm at the end of the time period to get things for Father's Day. But this would be a great gift for a man, I think. Um and I can't remember what those are going for. I'm sorry. Some of these it's, I've been listing a lot and I'm trying to remember everything. But um, my last thing is this. So it's super heavy. I have this listed on all three platforms. Doesn't this look like it's straight out of Game of Thrones? It's this leather wrapped decanter and it is glass underneath. It's got this giant stopper. And... Um, it's so cool. Now, the only thing is, you'll see, my son was with me for this, and there was a spot where the leather was kind of coming away from the glass. And when I went to ask her how much this was along with something else that was really cool, um, she didn't tell me a price. I said, I only have this much in cash, um, but if you think it's worth more than that, that's fine. So I had $9 in cash on me. It was the end of the day. And she said, just take both of them for $9 because I showed her this too. And, um, you know, it's, it's, the leather's dry. So it came apart. Um, I did notice that it was loose as we're walking away after I paid, I looked down, my son has this piece. So I'm not sure how much of this was his fault, but this is definitely a display piece. I would think, um, it's got these really cool embellishments. I just love it. Um, so that's a bummer, but I just closed it. And if you just put it on a shelf, you're never going to see that. So yeah, I love that. I have that listed on, on all three platforms. So this is my little haul. It's definitely not everything that I got, but I was, ex I'm excited about them and they're things that I've listed so far for the most part. So, um, if you like the thing, give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment if you have anything to say about any of this stuff. Um, and be sure to follow me on Instagram at Rural Thrifter. And then again, on Poshmark, eBay, and Etsy, I'm under Fine Aged Finds. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.